What's up folks, how y'all doing today? Money Mentor 75. Uh, guys, I'm back for another match day vlog. Hibs are back in action today against Hamilton. Uh, gotta be honest guys, I'm feeling pretty confident about tonight. It has to be said. Um, you know, bearing in mind that we're going into this match, uh, the form team in Scotland just now, uh, you know, I'm pretty pretty confident. Uh, one thing that is concerning me a wee bit, unfortunately, is the fact obviously we haven't beaten Hamilton this season. Obviously, they beat us 3-1 at Easter Road, and then uh, we drew 1-1 at uh, their place as well. So, I'm really, really hoping that we actually go away and try and, uh, I don't know, really, just put the record straight, unfortunately. Uh, and the thing is, you know, the way that I see it anyway is the fact that, you know, we've got to go into the game tonight. I do think we're going to be quite confident about it as well. Um... I'll be interested to see what team we put out tonight, to be honest, because obviously McGinn's still suspended. Um, wondering whether Lenny will stick with the same team that obviously put out against Partick Thistle there on Saturday, or will they change it up a bit? Personally speaking, I'd like to see Danny Swanson coming into the team um, this evening because, you know, I just feel that this is his kind of game, you know, um, for him to start, uh, you know, for him to start quite. Obviously, for the start, I think, you know, he's going to have to go some way because I feel really sorry for Danny Swanson because, unfortunately, you know, he came to have his big expectation, you know, obviously, as a hubby through and through as well. It's not really happened for him. Obviously, there's been a lot of personal stuff that's happened off the park that's obviously not helped his cause. And I don't think he's really... I don't think he's realised his potential at Hibs yet. I think that, you know, if he keeps going, hopefully he'll get a chance. But I don't know. I just don't know. I, I, I don't know whether or no he's going to be at Hibs past the summer as well. I don't know. Uh, I would like to see him starting tonight. Uh, I really, really do. I really, really rate him as a player. Uh, I rate him as a person as well, to be honest. And I think he deserves a chance. But you know, we'll know, we'll know, we'll know, know until we see the team. Um, obviously, you know, the likes of Slifka's coming back in from long term injury. Um, from what I'm hearing, Bartley, I think is going to be starting on the bench tonight as well. So that's a big mess. I don't know who he'll be playing uh, in terms of. Sitting in front of the, the defence, if Bartley's not there, uh, I think Bartley is probably one of the better players that we've got in the team just now because he, he, he protects the, the, the defence. So it will be interesting to see how we approach tonight's game. Hamilton, I think everybody knows my, my feelings towards Hamilton. You know, I don't think they really bring anything to, what, to the SPL, to be honest. I don't. I just don't see what they bring. You know, they, they take 40, 50 fans through for away games. They're regularly outnumbered by away fans when it's their home ground. They're always in the lower reaches of the league. They didn't bring anything to the league as, as far as I'm concerned. Yes, I know, as somebody pointed out to me a couple of weeks ago, they're probably one of the few teams in the SPL that balances their books, which is fair enough. They balance their books, they're not on a lot of debt. But let's be honest, they've not got much there to balance. Let's be totally honest. I mean... But I don't know. I don't know how the game's going to go. Uh, I do feel confident. I feel supremely confident in the fact that we're actually going to get a result tonight. Um, I think tonight has got the the same way, um, uh, the same feeling as uh, Saturday. There, I'm feeling supremely confident, but we're going to have to be patient. I think uh, Hamilton are going to come. They're going to come with a game plan. They're going to try and not allow us to play football. Um, so. We're just going to have to wait and see, folks. But that being said, let's get to Easter Road. I'll leave the vlog at this point just now. We'll see how things go, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be celebrating three points. But that being said, guys, let's get to Easter Road. And uh, come on, the hubs. Come on, the high bees. Come on.
What's up folks, how you all doing this evening? Uh, Money Minter 75 guys, I'm back for the second part of my vlog and can I just say, welcome to the Canberry show. That was a fantastic performance by Florian Canberry tonight. Uh, hat trick speaks for itself and overall it was a great performance by Hibs, it has to be said. Going behind so early on, it has to be said by an absolute clangor by the goalkeeper. Uh, I think a lot of people will agree with that. It was an absolute clangor, you know, it just, I, I don't know what Rocky was thinking. In my opinion, in the opening 20 minutes or whatever, he looked really, really rusty. Um, which I don't know how that can be, you know, bearing in mind that he's only missed two games and obviously, you know, he'll be training during the week. So I don't know why he looked rusty. I don't know, maybe there's something going on in the background that I don't know about. But honestly, I mean, great performance by Hibs. And, and fair play to the fans for sticking by the club tonight, uh, by sticking by the team. You know, they went 1-0 down. And they, they could have easily turned, but they stuck by, and uh, you know we 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 turned it round absolutely brilliantly. As I say, big flow, doing what all good strikers do best, and every chance that he was presented with tonight, he basically put away. I think he only had three or four chances in the the game, and he stuck three away, and he was fantastic. I felt for Jamie McLaren tonight. I felt he should have. Um, I think he deserved a goal. He had a good chance in the first half. Uh, Scotty Allen, for me, drifted in and out of the game. The defence played well. FA Ambrose played no bad, I have to say. I think there was a few times where he looked a wee bit shaky at times. Uh, Martin Boyle done well. I have to say the changing point in the game was when uh, Dougie Emery got sent off. I think, I think him and... Um, Boyle and Dougie Emery had a wee bit of a battle going on and Emery was actually doing well, I think, to nullify uh, Martin Boyle on that point. But, you know, he done well uh, to, to, to keep going and obviously, you know, he set up the second goal and, you know, it just his overall play, I think, was really, really good. Dylan played well in the middle of the park tonight. Uh, Scott Allen, as I say, I think, drifted in and out of the game, has to be said. Um, Darren McGregor, I thought, was fantastic. Him and Paul Hanlon, I thought they were absolutely fantastic tonight. Uh, as a partnership, you know, they worked really, really well at Hibs. And that was, for me, was brilliant. As I say, the performance tonight, I couldn't I couldn't fault anybody. Again, I think it shows how far we've come because, because in my eyes, a couple of seasons ago, that might have been, you know, a draw or a 1-0-1 one -one for Hamilton, you know. Uh, we just done really, really well to keep going, uh, to keep playing football uh, and to keep putting them under pressure. We did have patience tonight, but it was just laced with that wee bit of quality as well. And I'm really, really delighted with how the, the, the game turned out tonight. Uh, really pleasing with how it how it panned out. Um, you know, we're obviously going now to the the, the last match before the, the split fixtures as well. Obviously, we play Ross County next. Ross County done herself uh, no harm last night, winning 4-0 against Partick Thistle. Uh, they've obviously lifted themselves off the bottom of the league, so it's going to be a really interesting game as to see how we uh, how we cope with that as well. So, um, but all in all, you know, I was I thought the the game was fantastic. As I say, Camberry was man of the match for me. He was ten out of ten, obviously for 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 completing his hat track. Um, and yeah, it, it was just an all round great performance. Um, Sorry about that, folks. My camera cut out there halfway through that sentence. Basically, as I was going to say there, um, let's just see how uh, the weekend's fixtures go against Ross County. It's going to be an interesting kind of game. I think it's going to be physical, but we'll need to see what happens, guys. But I'm going to leave the vlog uh, there at this point. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. I don't really care. It helps me out either way. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, Money Minute 75. Please click the subscribe button beside the... Uh, no, that's not right. Click the bell icon before... I'm really having a bad time just now. Uh, please forgive me, my brain is fried. I hope you enjoyed the video, Money Minter 75. Please subscribe to the channel, Money Minter 75. And please click the bell icon beside the subscribe button. That will let you know when I upload. Thank you. Good night. Cheerio, bye.